Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful doily pattern. So the measurement of this doily is, you can see, it is about 12 inches which is a 30 centimeter. And for making this doily I have used a white 4 ply acrylic yarn. I will show you the label. So I have used this ruby 4 ply yarn, you can also call this fingering weight. It is 100% acrylic and you will need about 40 gram to finish this project. And crochet hook, I have used a 3 millimeter crochet hook for this doily. So this is a very simple project. Let's get started. So first we are going to make a magic circle. And in this magic circle, we are going to chain 3, which counts as a double crochet. And we are going to work 15 more double crochets in this circle. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So like this we are going to make 15 double crochets. So here we have 16 double crochets including the first chain 3. I am going to Pull this yarn tail at the back to close the center circle as much as possible. So pull that and I am going to finish this round by making a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So 1, 2, 3. Here I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round. So that is our first round. So for the next round we are going to chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then I am going to make a double crochet into the same stitch. So this is an increase. We have two double crochets in the same stitch. Again we are going to increase in the next stitch. So work two double crochets in the next stitch. One. And two in the same stitch. Again increase in the next stitch. One and 2 in the same stitch and increase in the next stitch 1 and 2 double crochet in the same stitch again increase 1 and 2 so like this we are going to increase in every stitch of this round I'll meet you the end so here I am near the end of this round. I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So here I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round. So for the next round I am going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then chain 2. 1, 2. Then we are going to skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one so like this we will repeat chain two skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one again chain two skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one Again chain 2, skip 1 stitch, double crochet into the next one. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet into the next one. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet into the next one. So like this we are going to continue. I will meet you here at this end. So here I am near the end. I have made chain 2. Now I am going to make a slip stitch on the third chain. So 1 here, 
one, two, three. Here I'm going to make a slip stitch and finish this round. So that's the end of this round. So let's start the next round. For that, I'm going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Then into the next chain two space, we are going to work three double crochets. So one, two, three and double crochet on top of this stitch right here. Then again work three double crochets into the next space. One, two, three and double crochet on top of this stitch. Then again work three double crochets in the next space. One, two, three. Then double crochet on top of the stitch. Then again three double crochets in the next space. One, two, three. Then double crochet in the stitch. And again three double crochets in the space. One, two, and three. Then double crochet in the next stitch. So like this we are going to continue around. So here I have finished this round by making a slip stitch on the third chain. So for the next round we are going to chain three which counts as a double crochet. Then chain two. We are going to skip one stitch and double crochet into the next one. Again chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Again chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch and double crochet in the next. So like this we are going to continue around. I will meet you here at this end. So here I have finished this round by making a slip stitch on the third chain. So for the next round we are going to chain 3. Which counts as a double crochet. Then chain 2 and make a double crochet on top of the next stitch so like this we will do chain 2 double crochet on top of the next stitch again chain 2 double crochet on top of the next stitch chain 2 double crochet on top of the next stitch so here you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So here we are going to chain 1 and work another double crochet into the same stitch. So we are going to do this between every 4 space. So we are going to continue with the next 4 space. So chain 2 and double crochet into the next stitch. chain 2 and double crochet in the next stitch chain 2 double crochet in the next stitch again chain 2 and double crochet in the next stitch so here you can see we have 1 2 3 and 4 space again so we are going to chain 1 work another double crochet into the same st stitch then again we will chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch, chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch, chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch, chain 2, 
double crochet into the next stitch so here you can see we have one two three four spaces again so we are going to chain one and work another double crochet into the same stitch so like this we are going to continue the same pattern around and finish this round in here so here I am near the end of this round so we have made one here one two and three spaces and we are going to make the fourth space right into the first stitch of this round so here insert your hook and make a double crochet so double crochet and after four spaces you are going to chain one and work a slip stitch on top of the first chain three and finish this round so in the third chain I'm going to make a slip stitch like this and finish this round so here you can see I have finished this round so let's continue with the next round so for that we are going to chain three and in the chain two spaces we are going to work two double crochets so one and two then work one double crochet in the stitch here then work two double crochets in the space one and two then one double crochet in the stitch then again two double crochets in the space one and two then one double crochet in the stitch then two double crochets into the space one and two then one double crochet in the stitch so here we have our chain four space so in this space we are going to chain two and we are going to skip the chain one space and work one double crochet on top of the next stitch here so here I'm going to make a double crochet and then we are going to repeat the same like that so work two double crochets into the chain two space one and two then one double crochet on the stitch and again two double crochets in the space one and two then one double crochet in the stitch then two double crochets in the space one and two then one double crochet in the stitch then again two double crochets in the chain two space one and two and one double crochet into the stitch then we have our chain one space so we are going to chain two skip the chain one space and work a double crochet into this next stitch right here and then we will continue the same pattern so like this we are going to continue this round and finish it in here so here you can see I have finished this round by making a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 and for the next round I am going to chain 3 which counts as a double crochet 3 and we are going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches 1 and 2 then going to chain 3 1 2 3 and we are going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch so here I'm going to make a slip stitch so this last chain 3 counts as a another double crochet so we have four double crochets here then we are going to do slip stitch into the next st st six stitches so one slip stitch then two three four five and six 
so we have made six slip stitches then I'm going to chain three one two three which counts as a double crochet and then we are going to work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three so here you can see we have made a structure like this we are going to continue that so between that we will chain three and work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three and for the fourth double crochet we are going to chain three and slip stitch into the next stitch okay. then we are going to make one slip stitch into the next six stitches so one two three four five six then I'm going to chain three which counts as a double crochet then work three double crochets one two and three then we will chain three we'll repeat the same pattern so double crochet into the first three stitches two three then chain three slip stitch into the next stitch then work six slip stitches one two three four five six then chain three and work three double crochets one two and three so like this we are going to continue around the same pattern and finish this round here so here I have finished this round and for the next round we are going to chain three one two three which counts as a double crochet and work one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and third double crochet will make into this chain one right here top in this chain one we will make the fourth double crochet and then we are going to chain five one two three four five we are going to skip this center part and work these four double crochet so here we will work one double crochet into these four stitches so one two three and four so here you can see we have formed a nice rectangle when we will continue so here in this part we are going to chain two and work one double crochet in this chain three space and again chain two and work these four double crochets so one Two, three, and four. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip this center space and make these four double crochets. So here insert your hook on top of the third chain, then sew a first double crochet then two 
3 and 4. Then we are going to chain 2 and double crochet in this chain 3 space. Then again chain 2. We will continue the same pattern. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 and work the next 4 double crochets. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So like this we are going to continue this same pattern all the way around and finish this round in here. So here you can see I have finished this round. So let's continue with the next round. So for that we are going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3 and work 1 double crochet into the next 3 stitches. So 1, 2, 3 and in this chain 5 space we are going to work 5 double crochets so 1 2 3 4 and 5 then work these 4 double crochets 1 2, 3 and 4. So here you can see this full tri uh, rectangle. Then here in this part we are going to chain 2 and in this stitch right here we are going to work 1 double crochet then chain 2 and make 1 more double crochet into the same stitch like this then chain 2 and we are going to repeat the same over here work these 4 double crochets 1 2 3 4 and work 5 double crochets in this chain 5 space 1 2 3, 4, 5. Then work these 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So like this we are going to repeat around and finish this round in here. So here I have finished this round. So let's start the next round. So for that chain 3 which counts as a double crochet and then chain 2 and we are going to skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the third stitch here so double crochet repeat the same chain 2 skip 2 stitches and double crochet into the third stitch chain 2 skip 2 stitches and double crochet into the third stitch in chain 2 Skip 2 stitches and double crochet in the 3rd stitch. 
So here we have four spaces. Next in this path we are going to chain two. We are going to make a double crochet into this chain two space. Not on the stitch but into this space we are going to make a double crochet. Then we are going to chain three. One, two, three and make another double crochet into the same space. So like this and then we will chain two and repeat the same pattern. So work these first four double crochets. Sorry, make a double crochet and then chain two. Skip two stitch and double crochet into the third stitch. Again chain two. Skip two stitch and double crochet in the third stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitch and double crochet in the third stitch. Again chain two. Skip two stitch and double crochet in the third stitch. Then in this part we will repeat the same chain 2, double crochet into this chain 2 space, then chain 3 and double crochet into the same space. Then chain 2 will repeat the same pattern, double crochet on top of the first stitch. And we will repeat this same pattern. So repeat the same pattern around. Meet you here at this end. So here I am near the end of this round. I have made chain 2. I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. So third chain here. So 1, 2, 3. Here I am going to make a slip stitch. And finish this round. So this round is done. So for the next round I'm going to chain 3. 1, 2, sorry chain 2. So this chain 2 counts as a half double crochet. Then we will work two half double crochets in this space. So 1 and 2. Then half double crochet in this stitch right here. Then two half double crochet into this next space. One and two. Then half double crochets in the stitch. Then two half double crochet in the space. One, two. Then half double crochet on the stitch. Then again two half double crochet in the space. Then half double crochet into the stitch. Then again two half double crochet into the space. Then half double crochet in the stitch. Then here we have come to this chain three space here. We are going to work five half double crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have made 5 half double crochets. Then 1 half double crochets in the stitch. Then we will repeat the same pattern. Work 2 half double crochets in the chain 2 space. 1, 2. Then one half double crochet in the stitch. Then again two half double crochet in the space. One, two. Then one half double crochet in the stitch. Then two half double crochet in the space. One half double crochet on the stitch. Then two half double crochet in the space. And one half double crochet on the stitch. Then again two half double crochet in the space, one half double crochet on the stitch, then two half double crochet in the space, then one half double crochet and the stitch, 
then here in this chain 3 space we'll again work 5 half double crochets so 1 2 3 4 and 5 then 1 half double crochet on the stitch then again 2 half double crochets in the space so like this we are going to continue this same pattern around and finish the round in here so here you can see I'm near the end of this round I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 2 so here in this second chain 1 2 I'm going to make a slip stitch here and finish this round so you can see this round is finished you can see the hexagon shape of a doily after this round so for the next round I'm going to chain 1 and make a single crochet into the same stitch then again single crochet into the next stitch then again single crochet into the next stitch so in this round we are going to work one single crochet in every stitch of the previous round so like this we will continue working one single crochet into every stitch so work one single crochet into every stitch like this <coughs> so continue this so in this corner as well we will work one single crochet into every stitch so in this corner also we will do the same thing so like this we are going to continue around i'll meet you here at this end so here i have finished this round you can say the hexagonal shape of our doily so we will continue So here I'm going to finish this round by making a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. So here I'm going to make a slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round. So that's the end of this round. So for the next round I'm going to chain 1 and make a single crochet into the same stitch. And then we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3 and we will skip 3 stitches 1, 2 and single crochet into the 3rd stitch so chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the 3rd stitch again chain 3 1, 2, 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third stitch again chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third stitch chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third stitch chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet in the third stitch chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet in the third stitch chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet in the third stitch so like this we are going to repeat this same pattern all around I will meet you here at this end so here I have almost finished this round and near the end of this round I have made the last chain 3 now I'm going to make a slip stitch on the first single crochet that we made. So here I'm going to insert my hook and make a slip stitch. And finish this round. So for the next round I'm going to make a slip stitch into the 
first chain and we will make a single crochet into this chain 3 space right in the center and then for this last round work 3 double crochets into this next chain 3 space 1 2 3 then we are going to make picot so chain 3 and work a single crochet into these two side loops right here single crochet and then work 3 more double crochets into the same space so like this we are going to repeat around then we will single crochet into the next chain 3 space and in the next space we will work 3 double crochets again 1 2 3 then for picot chain 3 and single crochet into these two side loops right here single crochet then work 3 double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then single crochet into this next chain 3 space then again work 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 then chain 3 single crochet into these two side loops for picot then work 3 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then single crochet into the next space here then again work 3 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 then chain 3 make a single crochet into these two side loops and work 3 double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to continue with our last round so work the same pattern all around and I'll meet you here at this end so here I have almost finished our last round I am near the end of this one so I have made three double crochets now I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet that we made. So here on top of the first single crochet, I'm going to make a slip stitch, chain 1 and then I'm going to cut off the yarn and pull the yarn through the loop and tighten off. So that's our doily. So I'm going to hide all the yarn tails. So our beautiful doily pattern is now ready. I hope you guys like this video tutorial. So hit the like button, leave a comment below, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you guys. Bye bye.